G'day Wester here. Okay, today I'm going to install a brand new um, Power Commander 5 auto tune system. So here's the little unit here. Um, this kit comes with the, the unit. It comes with a CAN cable, which goes into here, one of these ports. Uh, something to note, um, you'll, you'll notice on all of the Dynatune, um, oh sorry, the Power Commanders, you'll, you'll notice that all on the Dynajet Power Commander and Autotune installation uh, instructions, it talks about having to put in a plug into here, after you've actually, I'll get the other plug, uh, where is it? Um, this plug here so it tells you to plug this one here into one of these ports here and then plug it into your power commander down here into one of the ports in that and there and then um, it tells you to put a, a plug in another plug into which is a little termination can termination point well if you have a look on their website there's actually a serial number which is on the back of this and the back of the power commander once you once it goes uh, it's a once they hit a certain threshold of um a number serial number once you hit a certain a serial number and greater you don't need to do that anymore because it's all inbuilt into all of the units. It's got a termination, auto, auto termination is built into it. So you do not have to have a CAN, uh, CAN bus termination plug. Okay, so that's really important to, to get a grip on. Okay, so the first thing you've got to do, obviously, is um, find out, find a place to actually stick this thing. Because it, it, this is a, a, a diner, and it's a 2017 Fat Bob. Um, I've found a spot, I, I, and I've been running this power commander here for a little bit of time now, just testing it all out, and it sits in here perfectly, once I get it all settled in, um, but there's no room for anything else, I can't put the other unit on top of here, and so, um, I guess I could, I could put the seat on top of it and have a look and get it to fit, but my other seat won't fit and, and I'll get all sorts of drama. So what I what I think I'm going to do is in the side here, with, with the, where the uh, left hand case is, as you can see I've got my cables connected into the loom from my power commander into the engine uh, management system. But in behind here, in, in this little space in here, there's actually a little, there's a fair bit of room in here. And I'm going to tuck my little, my, I'm going to tuck it in into here, just like so, and then secure these cables up against it, and that's going to sit in there nicely. Because um, there's also these these cables here that take the, all your inputs for your um, oxygen two sensors. And um, yeah, so the first thing you've got to do with this particular one. Is it's got a funny looking plug uh, uh, well it's not a funny looking plug but it's a Bosch plug or do it it's made in Germany a German plug I'm gonna cut that off because there's no plug on this bike that this can plug into to actually get power all it is is power to power up the unit so when you turn the key on you want this unit to power up with everything else so I'm just gonna get the my little probe here and flick out this little cover for it and just in here, you'll see, um, there's a little termination point in here. I'm just gonna see if I can figure it out. And then, and it should release. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it off. I'm going to cut, get my side cutters and cut in deep in here, and then I'll, I'll have a power supply. So once you've got your once you've got your two wires ready for connecting the power into this thing, you've got to figure out where to get the power from. So in this particular case, 
272017 um, fat bob. Um, if I pull my, I'll get this can cable out of the way. If I pull the um, Power Commander unit out, I've already tapped into a power supply here um, for my Power Commander, but it's going to get messy if I start hanging everything off the one cable. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking for the tail light, something coming out of the tail light circuit. So these three cables in here, let's see if I can zoom down a little bit. There's a set of cables in here coming out from the guard, which will be for the tail lights. So all I've got to do is figure out which one does what. Okay, so um, because there's two tail lights on the back of this fat bob, there'll be two wiring looms for that. So one thing I've got to figure out is how am I going to get an earth on this thing? So I'm just going to put a terminal on the negative terminal of the battery over here. So the battery's in the back here. So I'm going to take a, put a put a, um, a a round terminal on that. Um, but what I've got to do now is um, figure out power. So I'm just going to turn the ignition on, and the tail light's running. As you can see, it's shining on the back of the thing there. Um, so I'm going to get my meter. I'm going to test. I'm pretty sure it'll be one of these purple wires because black's earth. I've definitely, definitely black is earth. Um, and we'll just see which one's which. So get yourself a test probe, which I've got one here. This is my, my multimeter, but I'll use my test probe. Um, get it onto a decent earth over here. And just put it onto a positive feed, so obviously the other side of your battery, so you can see that you've got power. And as you can see, my light's coming on. Oops, you can't see that. Roll back. So I'm putting it on the, on the positive lead here. I've got the earth on the negative lead over here. I'm just going to touch this probe onto the positive. And as you can see, my little light lights up. So I'm just going to, because I've got my ignition on, I just want to check to see which one of these, be careful not to poke yourself in the finger because these are very sharp. And I'm just going to push into this pro push into this wire and check to see if I can get power. Okay, so it's not the purple one, so it could be this one here. Not that one. So there's four sets of wires coming from here. And let's see if I can figure out which one it is. So it's not that one, it's not that one. It is this one. It's the one same one I've actually taken the um, the power feed off. Um, so I'll try both of these wires and see which one's live. That one there. As you can see, you can probably see that's lighting up. So it's this one here on the left that's actually the live power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I am going to use that on the other side of it. And I'll use one of these um, press and connectors and I'm going to tap into that line. My auto tune unit. So I'm just going to snip these wires off in a second, as close as you can, and, um, and we'll go from there. Hang on, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so one thing that's important, make sure you disconnect your battery here. To do that, you've got to have your, your um, uh, puck for your key, turn the ignition on, and then you can disconnect it. Okay, that's disconnected. Turn the ignition off now. 
So I'm just going to get a little um, an eyelet here. And I'm going to just check to make sure that it's the right size because I could possibly go smaller. Yeah, I'll see if I can get a smaller one out of my tool kit and I'll be back.